Hello guys, it's me Doku here today and we are back in Doodle World and the game has just updated with the 4th of July update so in this video I'll be going over how to get the Collider Skunk, some new 4th of July tints, we also have some new ways to get VP, new capsules and finally some new skins. So let's get straight into the video with these new 4th of July tints. So as you can see I've got one on my little bulb over right here. And it kind of fades in from blue, red to blue. I think there's a little bit of white in the middle, but I'm not sure about that. But this is a new tint brush for the event. As you can see, it is static, so it doesn't move, which is pretty cool. And with this, the way you'll be able to get it is if you head over to the gem shop, right over here, literally all of these, if you buy just one of these, or literally any time you buy any of these for the entire event, I assume, it might not check on it next week. But right now for this week, if you buy any of these skins, it will come with a July tip brush. Now, that's the first way to get it. The other way of getting it is in the wild, as similar to like the Halloween event. But this time you can find it on Eddie Doodle. And the way you're going to be able to do it is you're going to need a pickpocket. So you can take it off the doodle. And you also need some way of telling um, if the doodle has the item or not. I forgot how to do that. It's been a while. <laughs> anyway... But yeah, and so I, you can just basically get them while you're chaining. But I did buy mine from the gym shop and stuck it on this. This is probably the most 4th of July skin I can think of. <laughs> but moving on, we do have the 4th of July Collider Skunk from last year as well. Now, I'm pretty sure the odds are 1 in 100. And it is pretty to see, pretty easy to tell that you found one because the tail is very different. But that will be staying for the duration of the, I think... 4th of July only so on the actual 4th of July and you're gonna have to convert the time zones time zones to wishes time zone which I am not sure I think it's EST but anyway you're gonna have to convert them so you can actually tell when it is 4th of July but for the entire day of 4th of July you're gonna be able to find that Clyde one so it is pretty rare and I just suggest going out for one as they are pretty valuable but now the next thing we're going on is these new VP tickets now, these VP tickets, you're going to be able to get them from Runic Island Runs and Scavenge, which is the um, Lizar ability. And I'm not sure of the odds on them. I'm pretty sure they're rare. But once you do get them, you'll be able to redeem them for VP. Now, I'm actually not sure how much they give you. I'll put it once I actually figure it out up on screen. But right now, I have no clue what they give you. I assume it will be like 5 to 10 VP, which is pretty good. And if you do enough Runic Island runs, obviously you can come over to the social park. And over here is the NPC for 30 VP, you can get 150 gems. So it's actually a pretty sufficient way of getting gems now, instead of always having to do PvP, which is pretty cool, especially since the doodle market changes. But we also have some new items inside of the VP shop. So come to the social park over here. We have three, yeah, three, no, four, four new capsules. First one being the harvest capsule. And this has a higher chance of catching earth, food, and plant types, which is pretty cool. Now, these are similar to the specific ones inside of Pokemon, but they are much more broader. So, you'll be able to get three in one, I think two in one sometimes. Now, Shadow Capsule is the next one, and it's increased chances for spirit, dark, and mind types. Next one is Blizzard, and as you can see, it's only ice and air for this one. And the last one is Viper. And it's poison and insect. Now this one doesn't look very different to the other capsules, but I won't say anything about that. But those are pretty cool, and they're one VP each. So I recommend just having like maybe five on you at a time, just so if you do end up encountering something special, and it is like legendary or something, you have a much easier time catching it. But finally, we do have some new skins in the update, and I'll put them up on screen right now. They are all pretty sick. Uh, I think probably one of my favorites is the um, hip hop. Uh, but I also do really like Scorch's skin, which came to the game in this update. And the Tasmarada. Oh, not Tasmarada. It says Tasmarada in the shop, sorry. The Cack Me Out is also pretty cool. I, that is the premium skin for this week. But that is basically all I've got for you for this video. If you did find this helpful and you did enjoy this update, a like and sub channel would be highly appreciated. I also have a Discord server where I'm currently running a Pride Jalupi giveaway. This is probably one of the last ones. So it is a good time to enter now. And I do have a Twitter you can follow, but that is going to be about it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.